Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the video. So the other day, I get a package in the mail from my friend Mike, aka Firetox. He sent me a figure that I didn't have to toy hacks up for a video. And in the package, I got a surprise, two rock lords. Now, I don't know if you follow Firetox's channel or not, but he has gotten big into rock lords lately. And pretty much the whole group I hang out with online is <laughs> collecting rock lords now. I didn't have any, so Firetox surprised me with these two figures. This is one 80s line I am not familiar with at all, and I was just thrilled to get it, thrilled to death to get these guys. The only one I'm really familiar with or have any remembrance of is this guy right here. I think a cousin of mine may have had him, but that's it. I never owned any Rock Lords myself, so I had I have to get these in front of the camera and show them off to you guys. Now, the Rock Lords were a spinoff of the GoBots, and they're not robots. They are living rock creatures that transform into rocks from the planet Quartex. I think they first appeared in a GoBots movie called Battle of the Rock Lords or Challenge of the Rock Lords, something like that. So, now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get these guys in front of the camera and check them out. Oh, yeah. And rock on! <laughs> Now we'll start off the video by taking a look at my two rock lords in their alt modes, which are rocks. You've got this one right here, which is Boulder. He is the leader of the good guy rock lords. And this one right here is called Sticks and Stones. He is one of the bad guys and he does not like to stand up. So yeah, they, they turn into rocks and that's it. So what fun are toys that turn into rocks? I mean, what purpose do they have? I mean, well, they can sit there. They can be a traffic hazard for Autobots or any other vehicle that's trying to move along. A decoration for your wife's flower pot. Some flair for your pet lizard's home. You can throw him at your friends. So there's my look at Deformation Space recording on... What the... Or a place for a Transformer to sit as he tells old war stories. So yeah, there's all kinds of things you can do with the rock mode. It just all depends on your imagination. So taking a closer look at the rock mode. Yeah, Boulder is a boulder. It's got lots of nice sculpted details, lots of cracks and crevices and that's pretty much it I mean I mean he can roll <laughs> so let's go ahead and get him transformed into his humanoid mode what you're gonna do is flip the back down those are gonna form the legs go ahead and flip the feet all the way around then right here you're gonna take this section here just flip it up and over pull out the sides and Fold the arms down, and there you go. There is Boulder in his Rock Lord form. I keep wanting to say robot mode, but that's not it. These are living rock creatures. Now, Boulder here is very humanoid looking. He's kind of got flesh colored arms, a flesh color face, flesh color right there for the back of the legs, and actually a really, really good face sculpt. The eyes are just eerie. Look <laughs> like they got pupils right there. That's kind of disconcerting. He's like watching me. That's wild. He's got a red helmet with a silver visor, I guess. So yeah, I mean, he looks pretty good. I mean, decent face sculpt. 
Got fists sculpted in there with the arms. And that's about it. Articulation, the head can do, let's see. I'm not sure if I can do a complete 360 or not. It can look left and right. The arms can do a complete 360. There is an elbow bend, which is surprising. And the arms can go out as well, but they don't stay up whatsoever. The legs, there is a knee bend. It's awful high knee though. And the feet can move up and down. So there is Boulder. Next up, we have Sticks and Stones. And I like how he looks like a gravestone and really dig the color scheme on this guy. The black and the green looks really good. Now this one is a little loose and he's got a weird, weird marking right there. It looks like a thumbprint or something. And I hate how the screws are showing here on the front of the figure. Of course, then this may be the front of the figure, but then you got more screws showing. Hell, it's a rock. I guess it's whatever. That could be how he's supposed to go. So to get this guy transformed, what you're gonna do is turn him around and you're gonna pull, pull out right here and swing these sections down. These are the legs. Go ahead and flip those all the way down. Turn the feet around, or actually face the feet this way. And now you're gonna open up right here. Go ahead and pull out once again, revealing the heads, plural. That arm likes to stick. So there you have sticks and stones in their creature mode. And this is a freaky looking figure. I think from what I understood, this is sticks, this is stones. And look at the color difference. You got pink and red. And it actually goes down to the creature's toenails. He's got pink toenails on this side, red toenails on that. So yeah, this is a freaky looking rock lord. Now, as far as his articulation is concerned, the arms can do a complete 360. There is an elbow bend, kind of. I mean, it can, the arms can go in this way, like he's pounding his chest. The legs can go forward and back. There's a rotation at the knee, and it looks like the feet can fold in for some reason, but I'm not going to push that. I don't want to break the toy. So his proportions are a little weird with this big belly sticking out. He's got a beer gut. But yeah, I love this one. This is the one I am familiar with from my childhood. He just looks so creepy. Very loose though. So he has a little bit of a difficult time standing up. You got to get him just right or he's going to fall over. So there you go. There is Boulder and Sticks and Stones. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the 1986 Rock Lords, Boulder and Sticks and Stones with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, GoBot Screwhead, and for the record, that there was my very first transforming figure, and Super GoBot Psycho. The 1986 Rock Lord figures was definitely a quirky 80s toy line, and from what I understand, did not sell very well at all, though they did last for three series. Now, some of the Rock Lords are really cheap to find on eBay, yet some go for some astronomical prices because they're very rare now. Now, I personally think these guys are really unique and a welcome addition to my 80s collection because as I said, it's a figure line that I'm not familiar with whatsoever. So there you go guys, the 1986 Rock Lords, Boulder, and Sticks and Stones. So, do the 1986 Rock Lords belong in your collection? Well, if you're a collector of vintage toys, especially 80s toys, absolutely. These were one of the wild lines of many transforming figures that came out during that era. And I think they're really neat. I mean, you don't have to collect the whole set, but maybe one or two to add to your collection is just something unique and just so gloriously 80s. And I think you can buy these guys fairly cheap on eBay. I've seen this guy goes for about 19 bucks, the same him. Now, some of them do come with weapons and most of them, the weapons are long gone. I did find his weapon and his on eBay, 
but for like $15 each. So I'm like, eh, do I really want to spend more money on these figures? I don't know yet, but I really, really want to thank Firetox for giving me these guys because, like I said, I had no experience with them, and I think they're fun, they're quirky, and weird as hell. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Kato, who helped me with the skit from earlier because, man, he took a lot of hits from his wife to make that video. So there's my look at Deformation Space Recording Alliance. Oh. So there's my look at Deformation Space Recording Alliance. <laughs> this is why I don't work with other people. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Stop. At Deformation Space Recording a lot. <laughs> now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a new Super Thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members, because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!